welcome to another Macrocosm video. Gray and white paint pots would likely be used if you were painting a picture of the moon. But you would also need some colors on your paintbrush, like red, blue, and brown, if you wanted to paint an accurate picture of the moon. These extremely faint colors on the surface of the moon are invisible to the human eye. But astronomers have developed some inventive photographic techniques to record them. The whole moon's surface has now been captured in color photographs by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, a spacecraft that is now orbiting the moon. The image above is one of these new colored versions. For further exploration, it is crucial to know what compounds are present in each color since they indicate where on the moon they may be located. These pictures will assist researchers in choosing the best landing sites for the most intriguing experiments when humans return to the moon. It's also crucial to understand the surface's chemistry if plans for a future moon outpost are approved. Astronauts will need to utilize the oxygen that is trapped in the moon's rocks to breathe there and carry out their jobs. Across 1,400 scientists from around the world have convened in France for an astronomy congress to present their most recent findings about planets. Amazing fact. Strange but true. Despite the moon's rotation, the same side always faces Earth. This is because the moon rotates once in the same amount of time as it travels once around the Earth. And that's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Stay connected to get more knowledge about the space. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.